Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing what is the minimum configuration that is required for best completion of the PGDEC course. Uh, friends, let me, let me tell you that I am studying in Sunbeam Pune, PGDEC and uh, we are almost uh, towards the end of our journey. So I am, I can best tell you what are the configurations that are required for the PGDEC course for proper and uh, smooth co completion of the course. I would uh, recommend you to go with the uh, Ryzen processors rather than i5 or i3 processors because the Ryzen processors are famous for their robustness. Means uh, they can handle multi multi tasking very <coughs> smoothly. Rather, uh, if you choose the i series, they are not that much capable as uh, Ryzen series processors are there. Like uh, I am having Ryzen 3, but it is working equivalent to i4. Not i5, I am saying i4 is not there, but still it is working equivalent to i4. And the minimum requirement of the SSD is 256 GB. Minimum requirement of the RAM is 8 GB minimum. You cannot go below this uh, configuration because if you try to go below this configuration, you will be facing very much issues while studying and uh, there will be huge lag which would uh, dry up your interest. Let me show what is the current status of my CPU, RAM and other things. You can see at the general state, uh, now our modules are going and uh, many of the softwares I have installed, uninstalled uh, due to uh, huge consumption of memory. At the normal state, it, uh, the consumption is 80% and the CPU consumption doesn't go below 60%. Never I have uh, seen my CPU going below 60. It is always above uh, 60, 65%. You always are uh, required to run VS Code, STS simultaneously. And in the DOS module, you require this uh, Docker software as well. So, let me show you what is the condition when I just uh, start the front end and back end together. Just see the condition. CPU utilization is 100%. And uh, in the lab exams and all, you need to combinely start with the server as well as the uh, front end. Both you need to start. And uh, Along with that, you need to start the Zoom meeting. And if your uh, processor is not okay, I'm definitely, I can definitely say you that it will be crashing because I have heard many times while our lab exams were going on, many of our friends uh, were complaining that my screen hanged, laptop hanged, and many of the students also told that uh, their hard disk also got corrupted. See, friends, you can see 100% of the CPU consumption. Continuous 100% uh, CPU consumption is going on. And uh, RAM is uh, RAM consumption went up to 93, 91%. Moreover, if you are uh, studying in the Sunbeam, you need to record the videos while the lab exam is going on. So if you start the Loom video, I can definitely tell you that uh, it is going to be hanged. So I will not start it uh, along with this configuration. Let's see if it gets hangs. This is very heavy softwares. And the things you cannot imagine when the .NET model starts uh, complete. .NET model will require Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and it consumes huge amount of memory. And there you will be facing huge amount of uh, problems there. So rather uh, facing later, you can uh, prefer, if you have not bought the laptop, you please prefer this configuration. Prefer Ryzen processors rather than i series processors. If you're uh, choosing the i series also, please prefer greater than or equal to 
फाइव फाइव मिनिमम और चूज राइजन फाइव मिनिमम एस एस टी इज रिक्वायर्ड अदरवाइज यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दी एस टी एस इन टाइम इट इज टेकिंग ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड दिस सॉफ्टवेयर यू रिक्वायर फॉर कोर जावा एडवांस जावा एंड मोस्टली यू विल बी वर्किंग और यू विल बी डूइंग योर प्रोजेक्ट इन दी जावा एंड यू विल बी मोस्टली यूजिंग एस टी एस फॉर दैट कैन सी नॉर्मल Chrome also is using huge amount of my RAM. Let me show you. See, one eighty two MB it has reduced. At a time, as an uh, tech developer, you need to uh, compulsory keep uh, working on the uh, Chrome. And at a time, your uh, minimum five to six tabs will be always open. See, it went up to six to six seventy four. But uh, at the peak time when I was uh, I'm revising or uh, searching for something, it goes up to one point six one point eight GB. So please, friends, take it seriously. Otherwise, you will be reinvesting in the laptop if you are taking the lower configuration, looking at the money. And if you try to buy a, a laptop with the lower cost, you might end up buying a new one as well. Thank you very much.